you know, I'm just uh, very thankful for, uh, you know, the two uh, senior leaders, our captains that are sitting right next to me. Uh, our, our senior leadership has been great uh, all year. Uh, it's allowed us to have 15 wins, playing the first ever Final Four in school history, and uh, it's a lot of credit uh, to them and what they've done on and off the field um, for, for five and two years collectively and uh, with their peers. Uh, so uh, you know, so I'm very proud of everything they've accomplished this year and throughout their careers to get us here. Thanks, Coach. We'll uh, raise your hand for questions for student athletes right over here. Patrick Stevens with the lacrosse and St. Colin. Uh, it seemed like defensively communication was probably a little bit of an issue there in the first half between some of the big plays and the, and the failed theory. What do you think kind of went into that on your end? Was it just a matter of a bad day on that end of this? Um, I wouldn't say it was a bad day. I think they just they executed better than us at the end of the day. Um, you know, they were just a step quicker and a, a step, uh, you know, just on top of it. So, um, you know, including myself. Um, yeah, I think uh, we definitely weren't as clean as we wanted to be. And, you know, that's going to come back and bite you in the butt this time of the year. So. We have front row over here. Right. Thanks. Brian, I'll say I'm up. Coach. No, obviously. I'm doing the student athletes. Oh, 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 Obviously, you guys won a season to end, still so undoubtedly the greatest season in Rutgers across history. How will you choose to, especially since you've been along the entire journey, how would you choose to uh, remember this season? Yeah, I think I'm going to remember this year as the best year of my life. Um, I think we've, we've accomplished a lot. Um, I think that in moments like this, you forget about you know what you've accomplished the entire season. Um, we, we've really uh, set a new bar for the program. Our younger our team can can get back here and, and lead lead a team to this this venue again. So um, yeah, they can be part of it. For both Ryan and Colin, Terry Williams out of the cross. How, how did you guys manage the break? What did you do in the locker room during the three hours? Sure. Yeah. No, the break uh, was a little weird. Um, it's definitely something you know not it was a little unexpected. Um, Honestly, I just think that our locker room is pretty close knit, a pretty tight group. Uh, really, we just kind of brought the chairs out into like the little area there, in the little runway, the tunnel. Uh, got some coffee, kicked it, chatted, just kind of joking around. Uh, really, just got time flies uh, pretty fast when we're, we're hanging around with all the guys. So. Yeah, I think it. Uh, I don't know, the vibe similar to our pre-practice, um, kind of when you know all the guys get in between nine and ten o'clock, um, you know, throughout the week and. Um, that's where we just spend time with each other, um, you know, talk, and it kind of felt like that. So, um, yeah, it was halftime, but, you know, um, we were still focused and understood what was going on. And, um, but, yeah, it, uh, you know, it kind of felt like pre practice, so um, nothing too crazy. Back home. Hi, Colin. I'm Kate Callaway with Spectrum News in Syracuse. I talked to your brother earlier this week just about this matchup and what it meant to him. What did he say to you at the final point of the game? I saw him make a beeline to you before the team. Um, he just said he loved me. Um, I don't know, CJ is my best friend, just like all my brothers. Um, been through a lot, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, I don't know, was, he's always there for me. And I know we we're on uh, different sides of the wall today, but um, yeah, he's my best friend. and. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun today being, being here with him, so. If anybody else in here for the student athletes, if not, we'll try on the Zoom. Um, a question from Alexander Com Commentary. Has a hand up. Alexander, do you have a question for the Rector student athletes? How about David? I do. Oh, okay, go ahead. Sorry about that. Alex Burkhardt, AWRSU. Colin, first question to you. Great game, great year for you all together. Uh, you know, final year for you here on the bank. So the way you were able to lead this team, make this team, you know, you know, defensively what it has become, especially from an opening standpoint, what do you take away altogether from your career here at, at, uh, at uh, Rutgers? Um, just the locker room. Um, I think the culture here is just – so strong and you know the history of the program the support is you know really unmatchable um, you know we got guys from 
um, you know, the 70s showing up to our games and, you know, cheering as hard as the guys that graduated the year before, um, you know, this year. So um, there's just such a passion and care throughout the program. And, um, you know, that really starts with the guys in the locker room. But, um, you know, once you move on and, uh, you know, or uh, in the real world, you know, that, uh, that love for Rutgers across uh, doesn't change. And um, I think that's really, uh, you know, something that, you know, each and every one of us bottle up and try and try and do at practice and every given day we're, uh, we're together. Hey, do you mind if I add on to that? Sure, um, go ahead. I think that he's going to hate me for saying this, but when you look at where our team was in 2020, we, we were coming off of a two and four season right before COVID hit and our program really needed a spark and that spark was the Curse Brothers. And it's, it's, it's very obvious to the people in our program what that was. Um, and Connor and Colin now for two years have really, really been an inspiration to the guys in our locker room. They're the most competitive people I know. They're the happiest people I know. Uh, and I just, I just think that he deserves all the flowers he can get this season. We've got one more question on Zoom for the Rutgers student athletes from David Belander, Jr. from Philly Sports. Question for both of the players. Can you just talk about what does it mean to make the Final Four, be part of the first team in Rutgers history to make the Final Four? Yeah, being the first to get here, um, I touched on it earlier, but it's a new bar for the program. Um, I think that you know when I came here to, to the Rutgers in 20, the fall of 2017, uh, we were still in search of just making uh, you know, the tournament for the first time in a long time. Uh, and now that we've done that in back-to-back -back years, uh, we've really raised the bar once more. Um, so yeah, I just think that you know, it's, it's a testament to the support staff that we have here. Uh, it's, a, it's a testament to a lot of the guys that have come before me. Um, you, know, you look at some of those classes in 2016, 2017, and 2018, uh, they really laid the foundation for this program. Uh, they're such great mentors to me, and they're, they're really close to the program. To this day, um, I mean, half of them are in the stands today, being rowdy, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's special. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Ryan really answered that question well. Um, yeah, I just think it, it's, it definitely means something. Um, you know, it's a privilege to play Rutgers, Rutgers lacrosse, and I think every guy on our team knows that, and every alum, um, you know, just cares so much. So, um, you know, it's a credit to the guys in the locker room, you know, our coaching staff, but also the guys that have come before us, and, uh, you know, truly amazing. Alexander, did you get one more question on Zoom? I did, yes, thank you very much. Ryan, uh, this one goes to you. And again, you've been here for a long time, five years here on the bench at Rutgers. Take me through the overall process from where this team was, where you got, when you got to Rutgers, and how you've been able to walk out up to this moment now. It's your final year here on the banks. You go from a team that was still built then, now they make the final four. Just take me through your overall career at Rutgers and the process that took place. Um, it's kind of a loaded question. It's been, a, it's been a really awesome journey. Um, it's been pretty beautiful to have everybody that has been in my corner um, since I've been here. Um, yeah, I just think that when you look at some of our rosters when I was younger in the program, um, you know, maybe there wasn't complete buy-in from you know, the roster top to bottom. Um, and I think that we needed uh, we needed some some sparks and some new leadership uh, to maybe you know, get a little bit older, get a, get, you know, get a year older, get a year better, like Coach likes to say. Um, you know, I think that you look at some of those rosters in 2018, 2019, and you know, I think we were pretty great at uh, at the top. You know, I think that our starters could compete with anybody in the country. Uh, but I think that you look at our past two seasons, um, the, the, our scout teams have been incredible. I mean, our scout defense really grinds every day. Um, they give us great looks. Uh, you look at our scout offense, and, uh, you know, you, you, there are some names on that scout offense that you guys are going to hear a lot in the next couple of years. Uh, so, yeah, I think that, you know, we, all in all, it's been like an awesome journey, and it's going to take, take a long time for me to take this jersey off. Okay, we thank the student athletes and dismiss them and uh, congratulate them on a great season. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us tonight. And we'll open it up uh, here in person for questions to Coach Breck. We can start with Donald Murray from the Hawker Prime. Hi, Coach Longman. I'm Frank. Uh, 
Well, you speak to what uh, Cornell did particularly well today in the defensively against you and offensively attacking you. What, what made them uh, successful today? You know, I know going into the game, we uh, you know, focus a lot on taking care of ourselves and playing well within our systems. And, you know, give Cornell a lot of credit. They're a talented team. They're, uh, their attack is uh, very dynamic. situations I can remember, you know, one big little behind it X and, and one down the alley where you know we kind of got under and didn't reattach. So, uh, so I don't think it was that. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know, maybe just you know needed to. I think early on maybe try to do too much uh, and not play within ourselves. You know, going over the headed goal line and you know, like you said, the two pick plays. But that, those are those are three goals. Uh, you know, I, I think the one thing that you know it just broadly. You know, just taking a, a scan, walking over here a couple minutes ago, I would think you know it, it's about us. It's about what we do, uh, and uh, you know we've been we've been clean on the perimeter. We've been the best team in the country all year as far as uh, you know turnovers, and uh, and we were way above that number in the first half with eight going into the break and, and 15 to finish out the game, which is over what we you know do consistently day in and day out, and. Uh, you know, we've been the best clearing team in the country, 93% clearing. We were 75%. So, you know, we're always, you know, we were right around 50%, 48%, you know, facing off. So possessions matter. So it's it's not so much, uh, you know, uh, you know, defensively the system. It's just we played more defense today than we did, you know, throughout the season, and that and that, and that uh, takes its toll uh, against a talented team like like Cornell. Back to him. Terry points out across. Ryan, how did the staff handle the extended break? What did you and your, your staff do and talk about during the break? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, it was an extended, you know, uh, halftime and, and pregame uh, opportunity. So uh, uh, to be able to talk to the team in general right away and then uh, for positional work, offense, defense, you know, face off guys, uh, you know, watch a little film as far as some things that we can maybe be aware of for the second half of uh, what we need to do a little better, be a little cleaner on. Uh, but you know, it really, uh, you know, we didn't have a, a, a three hour chunk, you know, it was like, you know, meet at two, to meet at three, to meet at four, you know, so it was, it was constantly, uh, you know, uh, just a uh, little chops. Uh, so it was, I think it was more about, you know, getting the guys healthy, getting the, you know, staying fresh with uh, liquids and, um, you know, getting something to eat, get some nutrition in us and uh, be ready to, you know, focus on uh, the second half on the one Do we have any other questions for Coach? Can you talk about 27 for them and how you performed relative to your expectations what your approach was? Yeah, you no, know, certainly, uh, you know, someone, you know, I thought their first midfield of, uh, you know, 11, 13, and 27 uh, was, uh, you know, very good. You know, we prepared uh, for them to, you know, do a lot of heavy lifting. And, uh, Two quick, you know, change of direction uh, ball carrying uh, initiators and, uh, and a big hard charger. So, um, you know, we played some big minis before. Uh, you know, I thought if you're asking me, you know, strategy wise, um, you know, we, we like our rope unit a lot. We like our poles a lot. Um, you know, uh, we thought that, uh, you know, putting the, you know, the, the pole on 11 would take them out of their invert game and not, you know, have as much invert. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just needed to, you know, Crowd a little bit, you know, not let the, the big runs from uh, from space. You know, and, uh, when he had big runs, he's a you know big, strong, hard charger. And uh, you know, when, when we 
we have, we're able to get our hands on them and get up and crowd them. Uh, I thought we did a we did a good job of, of containing them. Anything else, Coach? Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, Congratulations.